It's got, to, it's got to be Liverpool as the target. Two guys were tasked to stand here and report when the mushroom cloud went up over Liverpool, then get inside. And send the messages. Yeah, send the message. And <laughs> so this would be probably built in the 50s. Yeah. Or whenever the kind of height of the British paranoia. So their job was to literally just... Because obviously Liverpool being nuked wouldn't be able to report it. Is that the theory? Well, maybe the standard practice would be about two weeks before you pop up again. Maybe you're told to pop up. To be honest, I think it's a suicide job, I think. There's no way of surviving this. Uh, yeah, they just... This is the observation hall for Liverpool, the nuclear bunker that we're going to have a look at. So, um, why not go first? Okay! This is actually wonderfully unhealth and safety reg regulated because if I were to slip, I'd fall a good five meters and break my legs. Okay, on we go. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, Lee. Have you been in here? Freedom! And then we go down into the hole. Oh wow, just with the light from our helmet cams and your torch, it's come out really well. Look at this. Look how much brighter it is on screen. Oh yeah, it's decent. Yeah. Look at the beds. So we're down in the nuclear bunker, guys, and these are two, as you can see, bed frames springy metal bed frame. So this is obviously a two-man post. And we think this little doodah here, air vent, pipe vent, but would have been useful for a periscope that you could maybe, trying to get my helmet cam to get the light up there, but you can maybe periscope it. And theory being, the two poor little cannon fodder guys that'd be down here would have to take readings of the radiation from the blown up Liverpool. And Liverpool obviously being a prime target, of any enemies for nuclear attack because of it's a big city, massive shipyard, lots of construction, lots of military.